Hi and welcome back to yet another episode of the Off Plan Show. We're on a break and now we're back and today we have an exciting episode for you. Today in the studio we have none other than Julia. She's uh, one of the sales managers in Leo's Developers. So uh, started from today, moving forward, we'll have exciting guests coming over onto the studio and giving you an amazing show. So without wasting any time, let me first introduce our special guest of the day, Julia. Hi, Julia. How are you? I'm very good. How are you doing? Very good. It's very good to see you. Yeah, again, after a long break. Huh? Yes, after quite a long break. And now we're back and uh, we're looking forward to have more episodes moving forward. Yeah. So uh, first and foremost, for the guests and the viewers who don't really know you, so maybe you can introduce yourself so that people can be more familiar with you. Yes, my name is Julia. I'm from Ukraine. I'm a sales manager in Leo's development. I'm uh, since May working there and okay. uh, I was a broker before in Dubai. I'm more than 11 years. So like okay. I know Dubai very well and I see how the city is changing, you know, like with during yeah. this time, like it's the... Yeah, like, I can imagine 12 years back, the city was quite Different. different yeah yes and it's developed right in front of our eyes and it continues to do so so uh julia tell us a little bit more about leos and what is leos yes for those people who don't know yet so leos it's a group of companies so okay. they are not only developers they're also doing asset management financing so the company was established in 2012 in london in uk okay uh, our owner mr ray he is originally from china he was studying in uk architecture and in he's Ukraine. in in uk in uk yes okay. in uk and uh, that's why he stayed there and he established his company in uk so our headquarter is in london okay so we are very british developer but a bit of touch of asian of chinese culture we have as well okay and what's the history of leos how did they how did they begin and how did they end up here in in dubai yeah, so first they started in UK. Uh, Mr. Ray, he was also a salesperson before. Mr. Ray. Yes, the, the owner of, uh, of our company, CEO. Okay. Yes, and uh, he was um, also in sales. So uh, as I've told, he is architect and uh, he was working for another developer. And then he opened his company. They started to develop in UK, yeah. then China, of course, Hong Kong, New Zealand, and finally in UAE. Okay. So they entered the UAE market in around May, you say? Um, early, was it early this year? Yeah, oh. company was registered in uh, March. Yeah. They registered company in March. And what makes um, like good because we have a lot of clients who already have purchased Leos in other countries. Yeah. And then they know, oh, they're coming to Dubai. They already building in Dubai, developing. Yeah. And Dubai is growing, everybody knows. So we have our like people who already are our clients, now they come to this market. Okay, so they've developed in other countries already. Uh, you've said UK, China. Hong Kong, Hong New Kong, Zealand. New Zealand, and now in... Uh, do they have any developments in Africa, just so I know? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet, perhaps Not yet. in the future, yeah? So being a new real estate developer in Dubai, yeah? How has the market responded to Leo's? developer because it's a really tough market out here. Dubai real estate industry is quite tough. How did the market respond to Leo's? Competition is strong. Uh, yeah, you all know it. Tell <laughs> yeah. Competition is strong. Uh, the biggest challenge was like people come, they like, but they say, but we don't know. Do you have anything handed over here? And we say like, no, but we have it in other countries. Like, no, but we want to see, we want to touch something what is already in UAE. And we like, we have show apartment, yes, but it's not enough. So the main uh, struggle was for us, it's to gain the trust of the people uh, for the new developer, which is ent which entered the market. Uh, but um, to be honest, it's doing very good because we are working with good brokers, people mm -hmm. trust them. And yeah. uh, also because we are British developer, you know, uh, right. we have already history since 2012 they're in the market. So people can Google, they can check, go to Leo's website. That's why like it was a bit challenging for us, but same time we are doing a good job. Do you think you found it harder selling Leo's because it was a new developer? Nobody heard about Leo's. Because I know the first time I heard about Leo's developer, 
well, I, I knew of Leo's when it was in its inception, when they were hiring. Way back, I think that was um, maybe early, late 2022, perhaps. Or, yeah, around that time. Mm -hmm. Late 2022 or just beginning of 2021. Around that time. Mm -hmm. Did you find it hard to sell Leo's because it was a new developer? Yeah, it was from the beginning, really, like, first few months, I was really struggling. Like, I was... Yeah. I was going to the agencies. I was I was checking with my personal contacts because I was a broker before. Yeah. And people like, yes, but the price and this, why? You know, so many questions. Not always I have replied. I don't know what to answer. Like I was like, there was a point I was very desperate. Yeah. But then everything changed when you find like one broker who believes in your project, who believes in you. And yeah. like in two days, three deals. And then it started slowly, slowly. Amazing. Yes. So uh, it came with challenges, but you were able to overcome those challenges, right? Now, I see people quite interested in Leo's, you know, from the past uh, couple of months after, I would say after Hardly Heights, but we'll get into that a little bit later on. I want to know what makes Leo's special. How was it that you were able to sell this product Yet it's a new developer in the market. Nobody knows about Leo's. Nobody has seen any of their product in the market. What makes it special? How were people able to get convinced of Leo's? Yes, if the clients are not in UAE, so if they're in UAE, of course, we invite our uh, sales center, they see show apartment, it helps a lot. If no, so first of all, we are British developers and combination yeah. of British and Chinese culture. When yeah. it comes to work, these guys, they are very specific. They are very particular. They don't like to, to I mean, I avoid would say the Chinese for the work ethic, UK for the quality. The, yes, exactly. <laughs> I would say that. That's the perfect combination, you know. So, for example, we never launch project before escrow account is ready, before right. SPA is ready. So when it comes to documentation, to the everything, so it's when we launch it means everything is ready so they don't play around this is one thing another thing is so like your clients for example they will not be running after you and you running after me and telling so where is my spa it's been like six months i'm paying money i don't know where like i want some documents no here it's very strict mm -hmm. first it's a discipline when it comes to all the spheres like for the constructors to us in the office every it's a discipline Second thing, it's the sizes of our apartments. I will tell you, like in Weybridge Gardens, in the new project, yeah. what studios go up to 600 square feet. That's fairly large. Right now, people are doing 400 something square feet, 415. And another thing, of course, it's a quality. So, but for this, you need to come and see show apartment. I had two weeks ago, a guy, British guy who came right. to invest here. He came, he see everything. And then when he came to bathroom, he's like, feels like home. Right, so the yeah. guy like really, you have this feeling of British, British quality. Yes, we don't do collaborations with uh, fashion brands, with car brands, because we already, we are Leos. We have yeah. our standards and we never compromise our standards of quality. Doesn't matter where we build, in which country, in which location. And the last but not the least, the amenities which we provide. Mm -hmm. Like amenities which we give in our projects. For example, in JVC, we have guest valley parking, concierge service, boxing academy, dancing classes, outdoor cinema, and a lot, right. a lot more. So like, I will not tell all of them. So the amenities as well. It's also very important. We want to make home that you don't have to leave your apartment, uh, your building, uh, like you can have everything here. If you want to live, of course, Dubai is a very beautiful city with a lot of things to do. But if you're more like an uh, introvert, so you can stay yeah. there and uh, you will enjoy. Now let's talk about Waybridge. Yeah, it's a fascinating project. I love Waybridge. I think this is one of the newer developments that you have, which is low rise. And I'm a big fan for high quality low-rise uh, residential projects. Let's talk about Waybridge and the current projects that you have right now. What makes Waybridge special? So, uh, as I've told, uh, that's the, uh, first of all, the sizes. Right. So, the studio with 601 square foot, mm -hmm. where the kitchen is U-shape, where when you enter and you have a corridor, so it's just amazing. Layouts are just fantastic. Like in Dubai, really, it's the studio was the size of one bedroom. 
and one bedroom go up to 112 square feet so it's like um, like this quality this size where you will find mm -hmm. so the sizes uh, it's 11 uh, it's g plus 11 so like really we can um, it will be f uh, uh, about um, low-rise buildings it's good yeah. because they will be handed over fast right yeah so waybridge garden will be handed over uh, less than the t in two years it will be second quarter in 2025 Mm -hmm. so, what can we expect uh, in Weybridge in, in terms of the uh, selling prices? So the, for those people who came before the launch, who gave the EOI, they were yeah. very lucky because the prices for the studio were from 450k yeah. and one bedroom from 750. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, we got some lucky clients who got it and their broker is happy, client is happy and I'm happy. Everybody happy. <laughs> Well, I can imagine that, you know, the real estate market, you know, improves and changes quite rapidly. And as soon as the project is launched, the value goes up, even though it's still off plan. What do you think is the future of Leos in Dubai? How do you think Leos will shape the future of real estate market here in Dubai? What do you think it's its future here? Mm, future is bright and big because like uh, our management, our owner, they have, they're very ambitious. Yeah. So they never stop whenever like, and they want to go to another countries to have craziest project and this, but um, we have, uh, they have a lot of plants. Uh -huh. They bought a lot of land. We will have different develop, uh, we will have uh, another low rise building, high rise. We will have townhouses, villas, so just stay tuned <laughs> really yes mm -hmm. so we will soon so you, you will hear a lot you will see a lot of our visuals already it started i'm already excited about yes it's gonna be making communities now yes it will be it will be exciting news of course now um you see dubai is a very uh special market we all know that yeah a lot of real estate investors who invested here in Dubai have made millions in a very short span. The uh, capital appreciation is quite rapid, not to forget the ROI that people are getting, right? What do you think makes Dubai market special? Why is everybody coming to the Dubai real estate industry? You mean as an investor? Everybody. Everybody. The market, the, the overall outlook of the uh, real estate market in Dubai, because it's attracting a lot of attention from investors to developers to, you know, uh, people moving here. They want to uh, stay here. What is it that separates the Dubai real estate industry from that of UK, from that of, you know, Singapore, even though Dubai is being compared to Singapore a lot? Uh, what's your take on that? Yeah, but we can't compare the prices of Dubai and Singapore, right? And the taxes in Singapore, it, it, it's like the, the crazy even for the car and everything. Land is super expensive there. In Dubai, what makes it it's super easy to buy? What we need yes. to buy apartment? You should not be even physically here if it's off-plan project. Yeah, if it's secondary market, yes, client has to be here. But when it's off-plan, it's easy. What we need, passport copy, email, phone yeah. number and uh, home address. That's it and uh, we transfer money so and it's safe now people see that you see with all the situation ar uh, yeah. around the world war in one country in another country and wars will be always unfortunately they will never stop because war is the easiest way to get to earn money for the people like not people like me and you right so that's why and dubai is very safe so people find it like first of all um dubai when it comes to uh, cultural diversity uh -huh. like uh you never you, you can find everybody from everywhere yeah you know <laughs> like do you feel yourself like for example bad as being a, an african here do you feel some racist things here no i don't matter. same with asians same with different nationalities because in uae you don't feel it you go to us you go to uk yeah another story it's a huge culture shock yeah and here like we are celebrating diwali chinese new year yeah, like i, I, I know <laughs> <laughs>
celebrate everything and everybody is friendly. That's I get lost I with all Dubai. the uh, celebrations, you know. Yes, so that's why I love Dubai because people are so friendly, so yeah. so peaceful. And my parents, you know, when first time I came on vacation and they told like, Julia, you become so calm. And like when I, I exited from the airport and I was smiling, the immigration, a rude immigration person in Ukraine was talking to me and my father said like, I was shocked and you were like not lost. You were just smiling and replying to him like, you know, you yeah, know, yeah. everything is like this. So in Dubai, people, their vision of the rulers of Dubai. It makes you appreciate diversity more. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah, makes... And people think about the future. They have already planned till 2040. Yeah. In my country, I don't know, they at least to survive till next year. This is the plan. <laughs> And in UAE, they think they want, like, that's why people want, okay, maybe I'm not buying this property for myself, but for my kids, in case, let's have investment. Because where is the most safe place nowadays to be? I don't know. Yeah, Dubai seems to be that safe spot right now, globally, exactly. right? Uh, well said, you know, and I have to agree with you 100% on everything that you've said there. Uh, what do you think we can expect from uh, Leo's moving forward? What new projects, uh, exciting projects, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so... Can we, we expect will, in the future? We will have um, the next project, which will, be, which will be announced very soon. It's going to be in JVT. Okay. And it's going to be low-rise building. There will be only studios and one bedroom apartment. Uh -huh. It will be five uh, residential floors only. So okay. it will be handed over very soon. Mm hmm so uh, we'll have five residential floors. It won't be, uh, I'm sure, not a lot of units in the, in, in the project. These are the type of developments that I usually like. And I'm so happy that you chose JVT because JVT, JVC, these areas are rapidly, rapidly uh, developing. And I certainly think they provide some of the most value for your money, you know. Because if you buy a studio for 400, you can sell it for 500. If you bought it for 500, you just wait a little bit, you can sell it for 650 uh, and so on. Uh, so this is why I love these areas. Julie, it's been amazing having you here on the show. Uh, we'll have Julia back in the studio uh, later on in the future. But this episode was just to introduce you to Julia and Leo's developers. And in the next episode, we'll be going in depth to understand how we can make money with Leo's developers and how you can invest in real estate and position yourself strategically to tap in the wealth that is, you know, uh, being transacted in the real estate industry here in Dubai. Any parting shots you have, Julia, before we uh, say goodbye? Mm? Uh, any final remarks? So um, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you very much for the invitation. Yeah. Uh, I hope it was um, information was useful for for the for the, for the subscribers, viewers, yeah. viewers yeah. and um, just don't waste time while waiting when the market will crash. You know when they yeah. say like the best time to buy a house was twenty years Absolutely. ago. Absolutely. And now the second best time is now because uh -huh. i know people who keep on waiting and the prices keep on rising mm -hmm. so and like, they never come down by the way yes dubai the prices never come down once they up except oil except fuel you know but it's also <laughs> like this you know still yeah. i remember when back in the days when but I, that's a good thing you know if fuel goes up you know it, it might come down sometime but you know a little bit a little down. bit one month up then then down so thank you very much and whenever you need any information more you know whom to contact. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Hey, it's a pleasure seeing you and I'm happy that you were able to grace us with your presence here in uh, the Off Plan Show. We're looking forward to the next episode and yeah, that's been it for today. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks Julia. Bye. Thank you. Take care, everybody. Hey, Julia, how are you? I'm very good. How are you? Very good. Thank you for coming on to the Offland Show. As always, it's always good to see you, yeah? Same. Same here. All right. So tell us about yourself, Julia. So who is Julia? Julia is a little bit crazy one from Ukraine. 11 years in Dubai. Love to travel. Enjoy going to the beach. Spending time with friends. 
and I love to travel and from each country I go I usually bring a mug so I have a big collection of mugs. What do you do with all these mugs? <laughs> um, there is a big wall we even order a special like um, um, part like it's actually it's everywhere at home so but in the kitchen there is a big wall and it's like um, a wall of glory I can call and then I am explaining from which country which city it is because some people even don't know uh, yeah. where is Macau for example excellent so do you prefer cats or dogs very tricky question I love animals in general yeah. but I guess cats you like cats okay do you prefer villas or apartments to sell or to live? <laughs> well, to live. <laughs> okay, uh, to live when you're young, it's nice to live in an apartment because you have a gym, you have a pool, it's like a community, you can meet with your uh, neighbors and all socialize with people. But I guess when you have your family, you want a bit more of privacy. So it's nice to live in a villa, to have a small garden. So the kids, cats, dogs will be there. Imagine this, an old big villa in the rural areas or a new nice looking apartment in the urban areas. What are the new nice apartments? Okay, capital appreciation or ROI? Uh, capital appreciation. Very good. Uh, what's the best spot for vacation for you? For me, um, I love warm places. Like I, that's why I'm enjoying living in Dubai. So um, I guess my top list now, the places where I want to go, I want to explore Africa more. So. I think it's gonna be Kenya, maybe Mauritius, so... Okay. Uh, Africa, okay. <laughs> In uh, general. Okay, so what's the best quote or advice you can give us? Um, time is flying very fast, so just like we always think that we have time for this or for that. Just like don't waste your time, enjoy your life and be positive. Amazing, thank you so much for coming to the show. Hope to see you in the next episode, yeah? Welcome. Thanks. Bye-bye.